do hashtags actually help you to get seen more on the Instagram platform? This week, the internet is in an uproar because the head of Instagram, Adam Masseri, answered a Q&A over on his Instagram where he said, hashtags do not get you additional placement. And of course, the internet has taken this entirely out of context, so let's back up and let's talk about how hashtags really work to serve you right now. Now, we know on Instagram, they have specifically made changes to hashtags. They came out quite a while ago and said it is no longer up to 30. You should only be using three to five hashtags inside of your post, and it has to be inside of your caption, not the comment under. If you put it in the comment under, it will not be indexed in Discover, which means people will not be able to find you when you are going through and browsing different hashtags or different topics. So with that in mind, you can use three to five, and you have to use it inside of your caption, and these are meant to categorize what you have inside of your content. It does not give you additional placement. So if you use it, it's not getting you extra views. It's teaching the algorithm how to understand what's inside of your content. Now we know already the Instagram system is very highly built out. They know every word that you say, every piece of music that you use, the dog in the background, the fact that I'm standing in front of bookshelves. They understand everything I say and do, the text overlays, the music, everything inside of my caption, they know exactly what's going on. So they want you to be very, very relevant about the hashtags that you're using. You should not be using some weird obscure thing or some super popular thing if it doesn't relate to what you're talking about or what you're doing inside of your piece of content. They are specifically looking for hashtags that are relevant to teach the algorithm more about what is inside of your content so they know who to show it to. Now remember, the algorithm system will take your piece of content and originally show it to a small group of select followers and suggest it to a handful of people they think might like it. Based on this handful of people, this smaller group, this test group, they are then going to decide to show it to more or to less people. So if your piece of content gets a lot of likes and comments and shares and interactions and engagements, if it gets watch time, if people are sticking around for it, that's considered a better piece of content. And that better quality will probably get you shown to more more people to test with more. And if those people are responsive, it'll send it out to even more. But if your original group didn't really care enough to watch the full thing or to comment or to share or to like or to engage with it, that tells the algorithm they weren't interested. And if these people aren't interested, other people probably won't be either. So they're specifically looking for content that they can send out to more and more people. So while they're scanning your videos and your photos and the captions and the things that you are posting, and they know what's going on inside of that, this is your opportunity to help categorize it. Because remember, they do still show it to some people to see if maybe they would like it. And with hashtags, you do still get shown inside of Discover. So if someone is searching for a specific hashtag or a specific topic, they will then be taken to that topics page. They can then scroll through on the most popular popular ones, they can scroll through on the most recent ones, and they can even scroll through on specific reels. And this will be your opportunity to get seen inside of those categorizations. So once you put those hashtags, if it's relevant, they'll pop it in there and people will be able to find you that way. But it does not give you extra placements. So it's not like you're only shown to 10 people, we're doing easy math here, these are not real numbers, you're only shown to 10 people when you post something. But then if you use one hashtag, you're shown to one more person. And if you use two hashtags, they're shown to two more people. And if you use three hashtags, that's three more people. That's not how it works. We know that as they are sending this out, they're sending it to a select group of your followers and they're suggesting it to some people they think might like it. So using these categorizations within hashtags, it's saying, okay, this is what this is about. Try showing it to these people. And then they can take that suggestion and try people who have interacted with other pieces of content with those similar tags. So let's back this up and go back to what happened. We had a post from Adam Vasari where he said it's not gonna get you additional placements. This does not give you extra views. This just helps the algorithm to understand what you're posting about. They have really highly intuitive algorithms that understand what's in your photo and what you're doing and what you're saying and how you're posting it, and all these different factors. But this is just one more way to help it level up. You're teaching it more about what it needs to know. So think about it. If I'm standing and I'm speaking in a reel and I have got books behind me and I'm talking about my author life, because you guys know I'm an author as well, 
it understands that I'm probably doing book related things or I'm probably doing author related things because of all the factors, the words that I'm saying, the text on the screen, the books behind me, maybe the books that I'm holding, it gets that. But if I can be very specific, I can help it narrow it down. So maybe it's going to understand I'm talking about book things, but it might not understand that I am a multi-time best-selling young adult author. It wouldn't know the genre I write and it wouldn't know that I write sci-fi or fantasy. It's not going to get that piece of information. So if I can narrow it down even further for it, it can be more hyper-specific about who it shows it to. So hashtags are still important. They are still relevant, but they are something that is not going to get you extra views. This just helps to find more specific, narrowed down people who will probably like your content better. So while you're using hashtags, remember you need three to five max. You can use less, don't use more. Put them inside of your caption at the bottom of your caption, not up at the top because that needs to be your hook where you're getting people's attention to having those conversations with them. So you can put that down at the bottom and do not put it in the first comment that doesn't help you anymore. And remember, as you're doing this, niche down, niche down with this. Be very specific about who might like this. So if you are doing something that is big and broad, that's not going to help you as much as something that's very near, narrowed down or very niche down. So if you are somebody who does candles and you're talking about home decor and how you can use candles in home decor, using some big home decor tag isn't going to help you as much as side table decorations. That's a much smaller, more specific tag and will get you in front of people who actually like that kind of content. So you have to be very intentional about the hashtags that you're using. Hashtags are definitely still valuable, they definitely still have legs, and they definitely are something you should be implementing, but keep in mind there are really strong priorities that you need to be focused on as well and does not need to be the biggest, most important thing that you are creating inside of your caption. So remember, Hashtags are good, hashtags are helpful, hashtags help you to categorize your content and educate the algorithm on who you should be shown to more, so you have to be specific about them and skip those off-brand things, those big popular tags where you're competing with millions of other videos. We don't want those. We want very specific things to you and to your audience, and you need to keep in mind that you need strong content and strong captions to then get that engagement to be sent to more people. If you got questions on this, go ahead and drop them down below. Hit the subscribe and notification bell, because every single day, we heard you're hopping brand new videos about Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, live streaming, and the tools and resources you need to make really easy content creation decisions so that you barely have to do any work and get back to doing your actual job while still being present on social. I'll see you in the next video.